What's going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best free 85 overall front page players to add to your Mutt 24 squad. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you're searching on YouTube for Mutt 24 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so very early on you're going to receive a fantasy pack from the headliners field pass that gives you a 79 overall front page player and it is a fantasy pack where you only get to choose one but it is free and upgradable all the way up to an 85 overall so let's show you the pack show you how to upgrade the player and then also talk about the best one to choose you're going to want to head on over to your headliners field pass so you can go to the live events tab and then select the headliners field pass here and it's the very first reward that you get so really you only have to play through three solos earn 15 stars five stars each on those solos and that will give you enough enough xp to get to the level two reward which is going to be a 79 overall bnd front page player plus a token fantasy pack so you're going to need these tokens and you need three of them in totality to take the player from a 79 to an 85 overall the first token is going to be right in that first pack that you get and as you scroll through the rest of the field pass rewards you're going to get an additional token at level six another token at level 10 and then the final token at level 14 so it's actually four tokens in total not three but three of them are going to come from the field pass rewards and then the fourth one is going to come in the field pass rewards as well but right in that headliners pack once you receive the pack you can go ahead and open it and it's going to give you your choice of all of these 79 overall players so let's just go through them all here and talk about the best ones. Definitely important to note that they all come with at least one pre-baked abilities. There's not really a good sense of what abilities are going to be OP so far this year. And a lot of the abilities that are available on these players just aren't very good or very impactful. But once you select your item, this is the only opportunity uh, you get to get to get one of these players. So if any of these guys happen to be uh, on a theme team that you're rocking, definitely make sure you make that choice because there's no other way to get one of these 79 overall players with the new catalog feature in mutt 24 this is a great way to show you how to upgrade these players and also find information about them so we're in the catalog we have program filtered by headliners and we went down to these 79 overall cards we'll just go ahead and pick drake drake jackson is the very first one you can see their default attributes right here so he's got 78 speed six foot three block shed power Power move finesse move all not very good but if we go over to the upgrade tab this is essentially mimicking what you need to do to upgrade this player you're going to start off by having to spend five training and then every collectible that you put into this card it's going to upgrade their overall so the first collectible that comes with the pack will get them to an 80 the next one gets them up to an 82 then finally an 84 and the last one is going to be an 85 and this is what the max level of this card would look like not only can you see the final ratings in a fully upgraded form of this card but also if you go down you can see whatever x factors this particular player can unlock without having to spend any training and you can also go into the ability buckets here and see how much ap these abilities cost and how much training you would have to spend on them because these are all the first ability bucket they're taking a page from what they did last year and you actually get these for free so they still cost one ability point but you don't actually have to spend any training or anything to unlock them specifically for drake jackson i don't know which of these abilities would be more impactful but i would probably try if you're going to pick this card something like the spinner or lumberjack or even ripper just something that might e actually make them uh, generate a little bit of pass rush and then lumberjack is more of a tackling ability as far as the attributes go on this one it's not terrible he gets up to 82 speed as a defensive end and you can get the finesse move up to 83 power move would only be 75 and block shed only 70 so three or one of the big three uh being 80 plus for a pass rusher doesn't make him exceptionally well but you know using a free pick to build your defensive line is never a bad idea kobe durant is actually a solid pickup if he's going to be a slot defender in my opinion and if you're really only running a zone scheme so he is only five foot ten 
but with his ratings maxed out, he can get up to 85 speed and 86 zone. I think that's actually a pretty good combination right there for this early in the game. With abilities, there's just not really anything that's going to be amazing on a defensive back. You can probably try Chuck out is, you know, going to be the most impactful one for a zone corner. That's going to give you Chucks, which basically uh, messes up the timing on, on the wide receiver's route that he's covering and will also fatigue them quicker, which will make them run slower in theory so uh chuck out is probably the ability that you're gonna go with but this isn't a terrible card isaiah likely is likely gonna be the most popular pick out of these group of cards here because fully maxed out he's gonna get up to 84 speed and he is six foot five so he's a really tall tight end with pretty good speed also has really good route running for a card this early in the year 85 short route running and 81 mid route running i think the potential problem that you might see with this card is that he has 79 catch in 79 catch in traffic so he he is a good route runner he is tall he is fast but will he be able to hang on to the football and then you also have to keep in mind if you did the rookie premier darnell washington you should be receiving that card at some point hopefully next week uh, he's six foot seven so he's a little bit taller he would be at 84 speed as well and his catch rating is better so he's got 84 catch 84 catch in traffic the other side of that though is that his mid route running is only 79 and short route running is 83 which is pretty good so if you're gonna rock a two tight end set you can definitely go with likely and have the darnell washington on the way but if you don't often throw to your tight ends you might want to skip this card though it looks like one of the better cards available from these front page players he doesn't really get any good ability so i would probably just leave homer equipped on this card by default next up we have reed blankenship and i promise though despite me being an eagles fan i'm not going to be biased on this one it is actually a pretty solid card six foot one free safety once you fully power him up he gets to 83 speed a lot of receivers and skill position players on offense right now are on average about 84 85 speed so he's right in that ballpark if he was a little bit faster that would certainly be better but being that he does play free safety and i wouldn't really recommend him as a sub linebacker uh, 85 zone coverage is actually pretty good at this point in the year 77 man is not terrible it's not great either but if you run a heavy zone scheme or your safety Safeties pretty much always play zone, whether it's help over the top or if they kind of come down in like a hook curl. I think that zone coverage with that six foot one height is going to be ideal. Uh, as far as abilities go, I would probably go with either Lumberjack or Stonewall. Those are more so tackling abilities, but they could help people or help stopping the run, which is probably going to be pretty popular this year with the way the game plays. Javante Williams is actually a decent card. If you need a power back, this isn't a bad pickup for you. Fully powered up. He's going to be at 83 speed, but he does give you 87 break tackle, 84 trucking, juke move at 81 spin move is not very good at 73 the only reason i would probably stay away from this one is that you do get the deandre swift card very early on for free in the season one field pass so you might not need a running back but if you do want a power back and a more elusive back those two together are both free options of course you get frank gore for free as well from the team captain field pass but that card is about as fast as a snail so he's not going to be very competitive so javante williams just a good short yardage power back there and with the abilities you can either leave balance beam on there or i would go with a reach for it being that you're probably going to need him in short yardage situations Wendell Robinson is also a good option here because he can play wide receiver for you right now and fully powered up. He's going to get up to 85 speed, 87 acceleration. Even the short route running is pretty good at 85. His catch rating is 83. So he adds in speed that you're just not seeing this early in the year, but he is only five foot eight. So I would make him a slot receiver. The reason that I think he's a good pickup is again, because he can play wide receiver now, but he can also be a kick returner for you as you maybe start to unlock or add better wide receivers to your team remember you got deandre hopkins in the season one field pass from this very promo the headliners promo you get an odell beckham that can be jumped up to an 85 overall there's an opportunity to earn a handful of 84 overall headliners cards for free and Kadarius tony is one of them which is another wide receiver that's pretty good but at the end of the day you can move this card over to kick and punt returner if he's no longer good enough or viable to be in your top three or four 
four wide receivers with abilities again there's just not many good options here when it comes to these tier one abilities so you can just leave whatever on here if you want to go with comeback or homer or even if you want to try balance beam it's really up to you but i don't think anything's going to be a bad decision on these abilities if linebackers actually jumped or animated in this game when using them and trying to roam the field and get interceptions this would be a pretty good early game user card. It's a middle linebacker that's six foot two and Caden Ellis here. He can get up to 83 speed, which isn't awful. The acceleration at 87 is pretty good. Tackle 85, pursue 88, block shed only 76, hit power 84. But because you cannot get Lurker on this card just yet, this is probably my least favorite one of the bunch. If you were to pick him and throw him in for very specific running formations, that's not a terrible idea because he does get Lumberjack and, of course, Stonewall as well uh, is another ability that he could get. But overall, I just don't like this card, and I think there's better options out there. The final front page player is going to be Elijah Vera Tucker standing here at right guard. And listen, you're going to hear me say this a million times in Mutt 24, and if you've watched my videos in previous years, you heard me say it before, building your offensive line is key when it comes to picking free cards because that allows you to allocate or spend your coins on better skill position players, the players that are really gonna impact the field a lot more. Now, if you did your rookie premiere sets and you already got the right guard, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, you're probably gonna wanna skip this one, but if you did not do them, I think this is the number one choice for you when you fully power him up to an 85 overall he's going to give you 85 run block and 84 pass block which is pretty solid awareness will be 82 and strength will be 85 now with his abilities it comes pre-baked with the fool me once ability and you know for the rest of these i, I don't think any of them are going to be highly impactful until we start talking about like secure protectors and things of that nature on guards but overall a really really good choice here if you're trying to build your offensive line and and you did not complete any of the rookie premiere sets. And there you have it. Those are the best 85 overall headliners, front page players to choose. In order, I'd probably say Vera Tucker is going to be my number one choice. Isaiah Likely and Reed Blankenship probably tied for number two. And then Kobe Durant or Wendell Robinson for offense, defense, kind of like a 3A and 3B. Let me know who you're picking up down below in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger and I'm out. Peace.